Well, American waistlines keep getting bigger. We all blame fast food, but what about cookbooks? Brian Wansink. I reached out to Brian Wansink, a former executive director of the USDA's Center for Nutritional Policy and Promotion and current professor at Cornell University. Brian has spent his entire career studying why you and I make the decisions we do when it comes to food choices. What we're going to look at here is we're going to look at this notion of licensing. Now, a lot of times when it comes to food, we look for excuses to give ourselves permission yeah. to eat whatever we want to, yeah. okay? And it's called licensing. Right. Now, uh, if this place is typical, we'll find about 20 things here that probably do that. All right, mate, after you. So what pops out to you here, Brian? What's the first thing you sort of notice as we come into the cafe? The first thing I notice is that there's no way I'm going to get a dessert with lunch, okay? Because it's just not what I think about. Mm -hmm. But if I'm waiting three minutes in line, I'm going to say no, 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 no. But I'm going to get here. What's going to happen is I'm going to say, you know, I was a good boy. I said no to every one of those first six items. I deserve something. And I'll say yes to that last right, item. Right, right. And this is licensing. Yeah. This is because I said no, I'm now giving myself a yes, yes. when I get here to pick up the the muffin or the yeah, cookie. The brownie. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've been a I've been a good boy, I've been a good boy, I've been a good boy, I've been a good boy. Now I need a treat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can see that. Let's take a look at some uh, okay, what cool. else they do. Uh, we take a look here at the ice cream. They don't say, do I want ice cream? Yes or no. I kind of go, hey, does anything look good in there? And I'm instantly making a decision. So there's five or six decisions that could go on just Oh, yeah, here. yeah. And it's not just which one we want, but it's do I want it now? Am I going to have a big dinner tonight? Things like this. So when I come in here and I see, I mean, we've got a whole wall here <laughs> of the menu. So you told me that we make 200 decisions regarding food a day. Are these all the decisions that you're talking about? It's not just decisions as to whether we're going to choose the California Dreaming or the Sweet Onion Sandwich. It's all the decisions we're not even aware of. The thing about most of these 200 decisions is we're only aware that we make about 30 or 40 of them. Right. And so there's all these things in our environment that can nudge or bump 170 of these decisions to lead us to eat a little bit more, to choose a little worse than we otherwise would, because we're not even aware we're making them. Right. And you think you deserve it. You're going to buy whatever you want. We, we should go then. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Man, yeah, I'm glad we got out of there without buying anything. Yeah, that, was, that wasn't too hard, but that, that was only our first stop, right? <laughs> That's right. So what's our next stop? It says, what, healthy Mexican restaurant? Yeah, I, I think it's, it's, it's healthy if you eat half as much. OK, well, let's go <laughs> check it out. I think, Brian, that many people, what they're struggling with is that they feel that the odds are against them. They feel that there is just like, it's just all too hard. Mm. When we talk about the odds being against them, how much of an effect does marketing have on people's food choices and, and what they eat? Anything that makes a food more attractive makes it more uh, appealing to us. And it's, but it's not just what a marketer does, it's, it's uh, what our grandmother does when she says, oh, here's grandmother's you know, special apple pie. We, you know, essentially, she's doing the same sort of marketing that the food companies are in, in many ways. Where we can make the biggest difference quickest is essentially by, by not marketing food to ourselves, by not keeping a cereal box sitting right in the middle of the counter where we can walk by and grab a handful every time we, we want to. You know, by not having the least healthy food in our kitchen be the first one we see when we open the cupboard. I mean, we find you open the cupboard, the first food you see you're three times as likely to take in the fifth food you see. Right. So, so, so why stack the deck against ourselves right. by having the least healthy, whatever, chocolate-covered potato chips with fudge <laughs> right front and center? Right. And a lot of these changes are, are very easy things we can make. So we don't stack the deck against ourselves. What we can, oh, hey, thank you. Oh, thank you very yummy, much. Yummy, yummy, yummy. For me now to have these here, I would and easily could devour all of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, it's, it's our moral obligation because yeah. it's in front of us. We're not going to waste food. The only way to change this, the only way to keep from doing that is essentially to change our environment. It's a lot easier to change our food environment than to change our mind, mm. which is why we just put you that put over, there. over there. The one thing that a person can control immediately tonight is what they do in their own kitchen. Right. Since doing the reboot, one rule that I made 
that helps me stay healthy is that I am going to keep my kitchen and my refrigerator stocked with fruits and vegetables. And having things readily available, um, strawberries washed in a bowl, blueberries, bananas on the counter, I'm more likely to grab a banana if it's sitting in front of me. My top tips for eating healthier are keep it out of the house. And so um, out of sight, out of mind. Um, if I keep chips or cookies or whatever in the house, um, I will eat it. And so even if it's not mine to eat, my husband will bring home junk food for him and I'll end up eating it. So we've now established that the home is a healthy place and it's really made a big difference.